asking open questions is key to helping people to think through change, challenges, problems, and to help them to promote discovery and self-development. Now, most of us know what open questions are. A closed question is one that solicits a yes or no answer and doesn't really promote engagement in the slightest. But open questions, or as Rudyard Kipling used to call them, six honest serving men, the who, what, where, why, how and when, can really open up a conversation and help the person along their route of self-discovery and improvement. Things like, what will the consequences be? How can I help you? What other ideas would you suggest? Where can you get that from? Can really help people to think for themselves and stop them from coming to you as the key source and font of all knowledge. But be really careful of loaded questions. Those are the ones that can shut down the emotions and kill a conversation dead. The, what do you think you need to do to be less rubbish next time? Or, what are you going to do to make sure that you don't mess up again? I'm sure all of us have experienced those from time to time. It's not just the words that are important in the way we use open questions, but it's the tone and the, the intention also. You have to remain non-judgmental, non-emotional, and with the intention of truly wanting to help the other individual. The eight value building behaviors make up just one of the three agendas. And it's the three agendas that we need to work on in sync to build a balanced and better performing business. If you want to find out more about our value building behaviors and agendas workshops, please contact us.